Hi guys, today I'm going to be teaching about how to use mBlock to get the mBot to follow a line. So, first thing you need to do is make sure the mBot is connected to your computer via USB. It's turned on and you have the mBlock software open. Then you need to make sure the correct board is selected in the boards menu and the serial port is connected to the right device. So for me, it's COM3, it might be different for you. Uh, make sure the firmware is upgraded. So there's two blocks which you can use to get information from the line follower. So we've got this block, which is, um, so this block returns a value between zero and three. Zero means that the, uh, the line follower is on a black line or a black surface. One means the left side of the sensor is on a black surface. Two means the right side of the sensor is on a black surface. And three means zero of the sides of the line following sensor are over a black surface. So that's a little bit difficult. I always get those confused and mixed up. Um, so this block is maybe slightly easier because it's more straightforward. You can simply say the left side is black or the right side is black. And using a AND operator, what do we want to do? What behavior do we want the MBOT to perform? Well, let's think about it. If the line following sensor is getting black returned to it, then this means that it's on a black line. If the MBOT is on a black line, then what would you want to do? Well, you just want to go straight forward, right? What about if the MBOT is off to the right hand side of the line? Well, if this was true, then the left side of the line follower would be seeing black and the right side of the line following sensor would be seeing white. So in this situation, what would you want to do? You'd want to turn left, wouldn't you? So that you go back towards the line. And if it was the other situation, if you were to the left side of the line, then the right hand side of the sensor would be seeing black and the left hand side would be seeing white. And in that situation, you would want to turn right. In the M block code, we're gonna need some ifs, that's for sure. And we're probably gonna be best with if else. So, if we are on the line, then we're gonna need equals. So if the line follower, now again, remember that it's port two as default, but you need to check that your line follower is plugged into, and it doesn't matter which port you plug it into, but it does matter that the port you have it plugged into is the port you've selected in this drop down option or drop down menu here. So I am in port two. So if the line follower is equal to zero, then I want to simply go forwards. Else, and now I can copy this block because I want to just repeat it but change some of the values. So else, so if it's not equal to zero, then maybe it's equal to one. So if it's equal to one, then this means it's to the right of the line. So if I'm on the, if I'm to the right of the line, then I would want to turn left. And I'm going to duplicate this one more time. And if it's two, then this means I'm to the left of the line. So I would want to turn right. And for now, well, if I'm completely off the line, I don't really know if, that's, if that means I'm to the left or to the right of the line. So for the moment, I'm just gonna leave this as it is. I'm gonna add the when green flag clicked header, and I'm gonna click the green flag and see what happens. And nothing happens. 
Why does nothing happen? Well, because I'm completely overweight, so nothing would happen. So let me move it again. Okay, nothing's happening. Why is that? Ah, well, there's no loop. It's just coming in and it's running it one time. So I need to add a loop. And ideally I would like the Mbot to follow the line forever. So I'm gonna put all this code in a forever loop and put this back under the flag. And I'm gonna try it again. So press the green button and okay now it's not working and why is that well at the moment i'm running the code from the make block or the m block environment when you're running the code from the m block environment it takes some time for all the um the code to be sent to the m bot processed on the mbot and then any sensor readings or anything like that sent back to the computer and then uh, so with these if statements I'm saying is the line follower equal to zero ask the question to the mbot the mbot says yes it is it sends that back to the computer then the computer says okay run forward at speed 100 it sends that back to the mbot all this takes a bit of time to be processed and because of that it's not actually acting on the latest information that it has and so it's not able to successfully follow the line um, in mBlock mode. So what we need to do to fix this is we need to take it out of mBlock mode, put it in Arduino mode. So I changed the header from a green flag to the mBlock program. To go into Arduino mode I can either click on the mBlock program header there or I can go to edit and press Arduino mode and then once I'm in Arduino mode I can press upload to Arduino and try again so it takes um, takes a few seconds to upload and it's off and now it is following the line quite successfully it's a little bit jerky the movement is a little bit jittery but um, it's following the line without any problem so there you go that is how to code the mbot to follow a line hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching construct your dreams <laughs>